Yo, what's good, Sean? Today's video, I'm about to show you guys how to make an arrest slash jail command. It's pretty simple. You say arrest, the player's username, and then like the duration is in minutes. So if you say one, one minute, three, three minutes, etc. So let's get straight into it. Okay, so first things first, I already have everything made. So let's go ahead and knock out the GUI. It's really simple. So you want to go ahead and make a screen GUI. You can name it jail GUI. Then put a text label inside the GUI, and then you can put it like at the top of your screen or wherever you want it. This will pretty much display the amount of time that the player will be in jail for, so that the player knows, like, okay, I have this many amount of minutes and seconds left, or minutes or, or seconds just left. But anyway, here's the positioning and size if y'all wanted to know. Um, of course, I made the background not visible, and then I cleared out all the text, so pretty much we'll be setting the text via the script, and then yeah, that's all you got to do. And then obviously you want to have teams uh, and have a jailed and then a neutral team, of course, or just generally a jailed and then another team. You, you need a minimum of at least two teams, one jail team and then any other type of team, right? And then to get onto the script, we insert a server script into server script service. We make the table with the allowed users and stuff. Uh, we, I'll come back to this uh, pretty much when player joins and then they send a message. It first checks if they're if their name is in the table so if they're allowed it will then see the first message if they say call an arrest it'll search the workspace to see if the username matches the name the name provided it'll then get the player's team and then if the player is on the neutral team then uh, it'll change the player's team to jailed it'll reload their character move the character over to the jail spawn position which is the uh, or, uh yellow orange or it's more like yes yeah, like yellow honestly the yellow spawn over there and then get the restoration by uh, converting, uh, what's it called? Converting the uh, string of the amount of time, right? First you convert it into a number because it is a string, since it is a message. Then you multiply that times 60, because you know, if you say if you say one, and then if you say one, one times 60, you know, that's 60, because 60 seconds is in one minute, so yeah. And then you want to make sure that the restoration is greater than or equal to 60 because you because it's obviously it's not going to work if someone tries saying something like zero point yeah like zero point um two zero point three yeah get what I'm saying so yeah and then it will use a four i four i do loop pretty much to count down from the duration by one and all the way down to zero pretty much and then uh. Pretty much, you're gonna want to make sure that the text is updating every time, so the remaining time, and then I. So pretty much, just let's play know how much time I have left. Then I'll wait for one second, so a one second interval. Then then a delay. This is a delay function. Schedule the function we call it pretty much. So uh, you're gonna schedule it. You're gonna delay it to whenever the restoration ends, pretty much. And then you're gonna call the release function, right? The local function release. So make sure you type it as it is, right? So pretty much gonna call back to this function. You're gonna send over the character and the player. Then on this function, pretty much we receive the character and player. Gonna set the player's team to neutral, move the character back over to uh what's it called to the neutral spawn, and then uh clear the clear the text. So it almost looks as if the GUI isn't enabled. See so yeah, it's that simple. Go ahead and test it. Do call and arrest by J19. As you guys can see, I'm on neutral right now, but if I do one, I switch over to the jail team, I spawn over here, and then my remaining time, it'll count down from 60 to zero. Then when it reaches zero, it will teleport me back over to that spawn over there, and then the remaining time will disappear off of my screen, and I'll be back on the neutral team. So yeah, that's pretty much how you make a uh, jail script and stuff. Just gonna wait out these last 40 seconds and stuff so you guys see that it like it'll send me back and stuff. So yeah, it goes by minute intervals. Uh, if you know, like, I mean, you could change it if you wanted to. I wouldn't know why you would want to put it in hour intervals, but if you wanted to do that, you could do that. Um, you just have to, obviously, you know, change up some things. It's a little more complex getting in hours. Like, converting into, like, minutes, much easier. But, yeah. As always, the script will be in the description, so y'all can reference it if you guys are confused on anything uh, or if you have any errors and stuff. If you do need help, just leave a comment down below, and I got y'all and stuff. So, yeah. Remaining time is almost up. So, two, one, zero, and do. Well, it sent me back to the neutral team. That's weird. It sent me back to the neutral team. That's weird because it's yeah. That's weird actually. It changed my team back. 
I did this, but it didn't do this. Spawn location dot position. Delay function requires two arguments. That's weird. Delay function requires two arguments. The function now basically wants to delay times past. Um, requires two arguments. This is though, because yeah, it's a number. And what I don't understand is it was already working before, so I don't really understand. Wait, player E, yeah. Mm. Yeah, this should work. I don't honestly do not know why it's not working. No delay function requires two arguments. I don't understand. The amount of time that this function is a number, it is a number times 60. So arguments. It has two arguments. Or is it the callback? Release? Yeah. Release as the function, then the character. Yeah, move to vector. Uh, let me see. Move to vector. Yeah. And then the player. So I don't. I honestly don't understand why it's not working. It's weird because it's like it did the first thing. That's this weird delay function requires two arguments. Hmm. Okay, alright, well, never mind. I'm gonna change this up a little bit. This doesn't really matter. Pretty much do if i is equal to zero, then uh, do release v player. Literally, that's all you gotta do. Then uh, just to do delete the whole uh, delay thing. Honestly, that was my first time using delay. I was just trying, I was just trying to test it out and stuff. I guess it doesn't work. I'm not gonna sit here for another 60 sec. Yeah, I'm not gonna sit here for another 60 seconds and see because that. Yeah, it would take a hot minute. So. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. So pretty much, I'm obviously I'm gonna test it. Uh, what's it called? I'm gonna test it after I like the video ends and stuff. I'm gonna test it. If it doesn't work, I will have an updated script in the description that does 100% work. So pretty much, if you if you follow the video and it works, then okay, that's good. It works. If it doesn't, just look in the description and then just change anything that's different from the script that you have. And then, yeah, you should be good from there. I appreciate you guys for watching. Leave a like and subscribe. Links to join my Roblox group and Discord can be found in the description. And I'll see you guys.